the strings louder. Yo guys, what's going on? Randy Moop here, also known as Fuzz Randy. Today, guys, I am going to be showing you how to make a simple icon like this. This can be used as a watermark or profile picture. This is my main logo now for my channel, but you can just add anything you want inside the circle. So let's get on to this. You need to make a new, and it's got to be 500 by 575 JB colors, and the background transparent. Okay, and then let's go. Okay, okay, so start off with guys. You go to your tool to make the shapes, go on to custom tools here, shapes, and click on this shape here. It's next to the pole print, just click on that there, and then you just make a circle like so. Then you can move the circle about. Let's if you click control T guys, then you can change the width and the size of it. Let's we're not gonna fill it in actually, we're gonna put it to about but there. Then we're gonna click control A and we're gonna click if we go into here, you're gonna make it horizontal into the middle and into the direct middle so it's horizontal center and vertical center so then we click control D then we go into then we make a text and you can add anything you want inside the text guys So, for example, I'm going to be using the text screen again, the font. You can download fonts from the font. Once you've chosen your font, we're just going to scale this down a minute so we can see the text. And change the color, keep it black. And then we're just going to go H-O-H-I. I think the beginning, yeah, I'm going to have to cancel that. try again let's go change the font to 75 and then type in whatever you want you can do like you can do like that or you can have anything you want I'm gonna go with shit I'm gonna go with F so once you've done that, scale it up to about 75, click yes, go into your movement tool, click control T, and then you can make it bigger or smaller, but I'm going to actually change the font size to, to 200, no, 300, 300, then OK. And then we can scale this down a little bit and move it about. Let's scale it down. Let's move it to about there. Scale it down a little bit to about there. And there. And there we go. I just want, as you can see, guys, the F is just touching the circle. And that is what I want. I don't want it overlapping or, you know, not touching. I want it just touching the circle. So once you have your text in, you click can right click on it and click blended options then we're going to go into generate overlay then we're going to click any one you guys can click any one of these so we are going to use this one then we're going to go stroke uh, change it to black and put the size up to about there so the size is five and then we're going to go into the shape blended options let's go generate overlay click on the same one and 
then stroke and we're gonna go let's try five and black and yep that looks pretty cool okay so once that is done what you're gonna do now guys you're gonna merge these two together so you shift and click both of them then you're gonna click group into new smart layer so you can move them about together let me just center that back up once that is done you're gonna go back into blended options we're gonna go drop shadow guys we're gonna make it multiply opacity 7 let's actually turn the opacity up a little bit here and distance is gonna be 0 size is going no distance let's make the distance but there spread a little bit and about like a little bit like that inner shadow we're not gonna have an inner shadow we're gonna have out the glow and it is going to be let's try white we don't want too much of this just a little bit if you add too much then it looks like that and we don't want that we just want a tiny little bit of glow uh, so that will do so the inner outer glow is going to be 75 opacity noise zero uh, spread zero and size six then we're going to go Beverly and let's turn that off actually turn out the glow off um, so smooth soft and sorry it's going to go all the way up to 16 uh, depth is going to stay there a minute size is not going to be that much but the there and depth is going to be about there you can go down which looks like it's going down but we're going to have going up so as you can see it's also shiny when you do that as well so it gives us a nice gloss color then we're going to go stroke again and boom like that and there we go guys it's just done that is how simple this is guys if you want me to make you one let me know in the comment box below with I'll put all the details in the description you can also do this if you make a new layer that's a group if you make a new layer and put it on them go into your text and let's change the text color to I don't know turquoise kind of color whatever color that is you can change the color like that let's go 21 21 21 like that guys you can do anything as soon as, as long as you know the basics guys you can muck about with as much as you want we can even like turn it round that is the wrong layer you can like turn this around it's like the F is like facing upwards like that it's pretty cool you can do pretty much every anything with that what I'm actually going to do with this one, I'm going to make it the overlay for the fuzz clang. So on the videos, um, you can also like go into filter and go to render lighting effect. Okay, and you can like do stuff like make it. Like the background or like chromey can I use the wrong one? Friggin' hell. So you can like make the background all like chromey kind of color, which looks pretty cool. The, if we change it to I like this one, watch now. If we change it to light blue, go there. And then change the filter, render, lent, lighting options. Okay. Like you can do stuff like that. Guys, just play around with Photoshop. It's great fun. 
But anyway, once you have done that, if you don't know how to save, go into Save As. Go on to Format, change the format to JPEG, and then just name it whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to name it Fuzzy. And then, boom, done. That is how simple it is, guys. So, I hope you like this tutorial. If you want to see more short, like, long and short as kind of tutorials like this, let me know and I will put them up for you. I'm sorry, my mic is a bit weird and it probably sounds really quiet as I am speaking quiet as I'm not well at the moment and people are sleeping as it's late. So, anyway, I will see you in the next video, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.